Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Stephanie Fontana with Pathfinder Solutions, and I'll be taking you on a high-level tour of Test Driven Development, or TDD. We've distilled this presentation from our white paper, Effective Test Driven Development for Complex Embedded Systems. In this overview, I will be introducing test driven development and how to make it work in the real world. This includes some practical suggestions, along with key tips for applying TDD on complex systems. So, what is TDD? Basically, you build tests right along with building product software in very short cycles. Write the unit test, write just enough code to pass the test, refactor, repeat. Testing and test automation have been around since the dawn of bytes. Why is TDD becoming important now? Because systems are more complex than ever before, and the business pressures to produce more product, faster, and better are ever increasing. The old-fashioned approach of hacking out code simply won't bring success in today's high-speed, high-pressure markets. TDD's continuous emphasis on quality brings products to market faster. This figure shows an example of a test log with all tests passing, an important indicator in a successfully operating TDD process. Green means go, as in go to market. So how does TDD get us to market more quickly? From the beginning, TDD maintains a focus on quality, and higher quality software is faster to integrate and deliver. Like any other development methodology, TDD has both pros and cons. So before we discuss the benefits of TDD, let's cover potential disadvantages. A casual approach to adopting TDD may not deliver organization level benefits. Since the TDD payoff often comes later in the development cycle, it can be easy for stakeholders to become concerned and feel as though the time it takes to write thorough tests is wasted. Moving to a more team-focused process like TDD can be difficult for many developers. However, one challenge of being agile is recognizing that certain individual coding habits may not deliver maximum team productivity in the long run. Even with TDD helping you stay on the path of high-quality development, the best results still require good design and proven coding practices. Likewise, the development of quality tests requires effort and skill. Building bad tests, incomplete test suites, or even too many tests can diffuse many of the potential gains of TDD. There's a balance to be struck between producing thorough tests, simple tests, and many tests. To get the payoff of TDD, developers have to write quality code in the simplest way possible. While adopting a test-driven development approach takes significant effort and may subject a development organization to the discomfort of culture change, the benefits far outweigh the costs. The simple, iterative development microcycle provides the basis for TDD's successes. The TDD approach forces each component to steadily build capability at a consistently higher level of quality by testing first, developing in small increments, and requiring tests to pass. A solid TDD culture with a rich test base is the best preparation to rapidly seize opportunities and beat competitors to market. The TDD test base boosts development level documentation essential for understanding requirements, testing integration, and deployment. TDD also helps developers avoid over-engineering solutions due to its short development microcycle and focus on requirements, breaking the problem into modular units and producing a solution that can be tested as well as implemented. And the ongoing creation of unit tests aggregates into a valuable integration resource. TDD supports better design through more complete refactoring. A solid test base enables developers to more thoroughly and rapidly refine their design in the midst of ongoing development, and the automated unit tests help developers ensure that they have not impacted a team member's existing work when refactoring or adding updates. In addition to a general boost in quality, TDD markedly boosts productivity through a stronger focus on modularity and a substantial reduction in the number of catastrophes commonly faced in integration. 
Last but not least, a fundamental aspect of TDD is that software defects are tightly contained. They are eradicated upon genesis. On top of all of those benefits, TDD also cuts time to market. Current realities of business in the realm of embedded software include increasing competition, reduced schedules, and tighter market windows. TDD boosts a software development organization's ability to rapidly respond to changing requirements by facilitating shorter development and integration cycles and supporting the rapid refinement of new requirements. The TDD cycle is shorter than the traditional development cycle. By focusing on building only what is needed to get the test to pass and using immediate feedback to reduce regression errors, the development cycle can quickly be shortened to its essential core. Quality improvements gained at the component level speed development of the component itself and also slash the time needed to integrate it into the complete system by a substantial degree. Typically, integration delays for systems with average component quality will bloat software development and delivery schedules. When applying a TDD approach instead, most component issues are resolved much earlier in the process or eliminated outright, thus shrinking integration times and quickly getting the completed product to market. Bobby George and Lori Williams from the Department of Computer Science at North Carolina State University ran a set of structured experiments with 24 professional pair programmers. One group developed code using TDD, while the other a waterfall-like approach. Their findings are published in An Initial Investigation of Test-Driven Development in Industry. Here are some of the highlights. In the actual practice, Tidy theories can fail to deliver positive results due to the inconvenient realities associated with building complex, high-performance embedded systems. Teams that are able to successfully surmount these challenges recognize that TDD needs to be part of a cultural shift to a development perspective that embodies a holistic focus on quality. Our customers' experiences have shown key techniques to mitigate these risks. Poor quality software is expensive. Socialization is key. Change is uncomfortable but necessary. Experienced guides are essential. Wishful thinking by itself is not enough. Now let's take a closer look at the meat of test-driven development. The core technique of TDD is Red Green Refactor, an iterative development microcycle in which the tests and behavior are implemented. We start with Red. Write tests. They will fail initially. Now write feature code. Test pass. Refactor both test and feature code. The TDD microcycle provides rapid feedback to the developer. As soon as a code change is completed, it is tested. If the code has an error, it is instantly caught. The immediacy and locality of the feedback is very valuable. An effective microcycle requires quick compilation and execution of test cases. This requirement is central to sustaining the pace of development and reducing the obtrusiveness of tests. A key technique is to enable the automatic execution of test cases as a post-build activity, which combines building and testing into a single developer step. The most important aspect of TDD is that developers test first. Testing first may not match your existing habits, but this aspect of TDD delivers these key benefits. XUnit frameworks provide assertion style test validation capabilities and result reporting. These capabilities are critical for automation as they move the burden of execution validation from an independent post-processing activity to one that is included in the test execution. This concept of built-in test oracles helps to reduce unit test maintenance burden by requiring maintenance on only one artifact and eliminating the independent validation of often complex and fragile output. Additionally, the execution framework provided by these test frameworks allows for the automated execution of all system test cases 
or various subsets along with other features. Here are some important do's and don'ts for implementing test-driven development. Simple tests with robust comparison logic deliver the highest longevity and flexibility. Conversely, overly complex tests with voluminous output or sensitive timing requirements confound test automation efforts. The final elements we will cover are aspects of TDD enhanced specifically for complex embedded systems. Software quality is important for all kinds of systems, but it is critical for complex embedded systems. The improved software quality produced by TDD methods brings many benefits beyond increasing productivity and cutting time to market. Testability requirements drive key architectural improvements. The successful integration of complex embedded systems demands enhanced testing at the component level and full regression test automation. The boost in quality from TDD is essential for high reliability and safety critical systems. TDD drives modular architecture, boosts component cohesion, and reduces coupling between components. High cohesion ensures each unit provides a set of related capabilities and makes the tests of those capabilities easier to maintain. Low coupling allows each unit to be effectively tested in isolation. Published interfaces restrict component access and serve as a contact point for tests, facilitating test creation and ensuring the highest fidelity between test and production unit configuration. This figure shows the logical architecture of Pathfinder's RoboChef example system, which is used for hands-on, in-class exercises during the effective embedded TDD training. The separation of capabilities and the elimination of incidental coupling illuminate a testable architecture. A key technique for building effective modular architecture is scenario modeling, where a set of sequence charts is constructed each one focusing on a single system-level execution scenario. The scenario model provides an excellent vehicle for creating the strategy of interactions between components in response to a specific stimulus. Each of these scenario models serves as a rich set of requirements for the services or functions that a component must provide, and it also dictates the order that these components and services will interact together. Scenario modeling can greatly facilitate the construction of TDD tests for a complex system. This figure highlights the interactions with the RoboChef component motor control. In a larger system, the impact of poor component quality is magnified by the complexity of interactions. This magnification makes the benefits of TDD accrue even faster in the context of larger projects. However, the complexity of the total population of tests can become a problem in itself, eroding potential gains. It sounds simple. But a key initial step is to recognize that test code is also important software and should be produced and maintained with the same rigor as the production code. This figure shows major test driver software elements and their organization. During integration, the body of TDD test serves as an excellent regression test. Since building the entire body of software for a large system can be time consuming, it is essential to structure the test code so a single build can incorporate the regression base for all system components. Best practices in this area focus on simplicity and ease of automation. We've reached the end of the presentation. This introduction was extracted from the effective embedded TDD training from Pathfinder Solutions a three-day practitioner-level course in test-driven development optimized for complex, high-performance embedded systems. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to test-driven development. The full white paper, Effective Test-Driven Development for Complex Embedded Systems, is available on our website, pathfindertdd.com. Feel free to contact us at Pathfinder Solutions with any questions. And thank you again for joining us.